So this will be the last video about section 14.7 passive filters and this, this will be the second um, kind of band pass filter we look at. This is a different combination of low pass and high pass filters. So um, in a high pass filter the resistor takes the high frequencies while the capacitor holds on to the low frequencies or if you put a, a multi an oscilloscope here you see the low frequency um, energy or signals. So the energy on the low frequency stays here. On the other hand, um, with the NRL, when you take the low um, frequencies on the resistor, also the, the inductor is holding on to the high frequency. So we're going to combine these two and assume that the um, omega-1, which is the low side of that filter, and the omega-2, which is the high side, and I'll give you the... Um, formulas for those are far apart enough and the far apart will be um, um, R over 2L. Um, so so this valid, these two values are far apart enough that you actually have frequencies getting to the resistor. Of course, if they are too close or if they swap, then you have nothing passing through the circuit. So the transfer function um, is in the book and um, it's on one hand, simple enough, it's the, the uh, voltage across the resistor divided by the sum of all impedances. So this is a voltage divider. On the other hand, you don't get uh, too far with it. So to actually design this, we need uh, really to know where omega-1 and omega-2 are. And that's um, a very painful process uh, to get to those two. Well, I'm not sure it's a very painful process, but um, I am not interested in... Um, working through this whole thing. So I'm going to say omega 1 and 2 um, are very similar, so I'm going to use just one formula. Oh, it's R. R. It's the square root of R over 2L squared plus 1 over LC. And so omega 2, omega 1 is the minus R over 2L and omega 2 is the the later one, it's just plus R over 2L. So you see that the bandwidth is really um, R over L. The bandwidth is again, you know, the difference between omega 1 and omega 2. And then omega naught, which is the center frequency, is 1 over square root of LC. Radians per second. Uh, these are also radians per second. I think in the previous video I made a mistake. Uh, I, I wrote uh, FL and FH as uh, just one of our RC, but really those are omega. Uh, L and omega H for uh, F, I would have to say that it's uh, divided by 2 pi, right? Because uh, omega is obviously always 2 pi F. So if I'm using F, I would have used uh, those divided by 2 pi. But here I'm using omega. So here I don't expect there to be a, a mistake here um, in the graph or in the formulas for omega. If you're interested, it's, uh, these formulas are in uh, section 14.5 and we did not cover them. Uh, we're going to hopefully have a chance to talk a little bit more about filters in 14.8, but they are um, active filters. They are more used in industry than a filter like this. So a filter like this really you use if you have nothing else. Uh, to put together on a breadboard. You want to test um, out a, a filter and you do have an inductor. Uh, you'd start with the value for the inductor. Inductors are much less common uh, in the world and then leave the uh, resistor to play with because it matters for the bandwidth uh, and the cutoff frequencies and there's many more resistors that you probably have in your lab kit and in general. Um, than capacitors and inductors. So I think this is the end of the uh, passive section. This is it.